Police work in Coon Rapids is getting a lift thanks to the department's latest tool. The city bought an unmanned aircraft system, or what's more commonly known as a drone, to help with police work. CTN Steve Antis has the story. Anytime that the UAS is flying, you're going to see two officers with it. One we actually call the pilot, and the other is what we call the visual observer. This quadcopter may look like a toy, but with its onboard camera, can help officers quickly cover more ground in less time. For example, this morning, uh, myself and Detective Durrett were uh, in the city of St. Francis assisting them looking for a party with warrants. Coon Rapids police detectives Adam Jacobson, Dan Durrett, and Justin Havorka are all FAA certified drone pilots. So we're authorized to fly it at 400 feet. Um, which is the highest the FAA allows us to fly. They also got a waiver from the FAA to fly at night. So we have the ability to see in both visible light as well as in infrared light. As for the drone's stylish logo, the police reached out for help from the Industrial Arts Department at the high school. Mr. Stork of the Coon Rapids High School, he recommended Peyton and Jack to me. Um, they came, they sat down in my office, they kind of said, well, what are you looking for? I, I gave them kind of a, a blank canvas and said, see what you can come up with. Each one of these is a different layer. Together, Peyton Martinic and Jack Bornes produced the logo with the skills they learned using Photoshop. It was a really fun project to do. Photoshop was really fun. and. Doing this like gave me a like chance to use that skill better. It was a really cool opportunity to work with the police and how, use our skills to do this project. The officers were impressed with how it turned out. When it flies, you can see the battery pack. You'll see right on there Cardinal One. You'll see Jack and Peyton's design. From Crooked Lake Park, Steve Antis reporting for Community Update. Jack and Peyton submitted their final design just before the COVID-19 pandemic shut down schools. They each received thank you certificates from the police department while in quarantine.